Apple's M4 Max MacBook Pro is the most powerful laptop ever made. Now with Thunderbolt 5 ports with up to 120 gigabits of bandwidth and with support for insanely fast PCI Express 5 SSDs. This right here is the world's first and only triple display MacBook dock for Thunderbolt 5. It's the Fusion Dock Max 2 from our sponsor Ivanki. And let me tell you guys, this thing has been a game changer for me at my home office slash man cave in my garage, the place where I can get away and have some peaceful time to myself while working on some video editing on the display while watching YouTube videos on the second display and watching Apple stocks hit all time highs on my third display. All while having the peace of mind of having a massive selection of 23 ports built for ultimate connectivity while getting a full 140 watts of pass through charging for my M4 Max MacBook Pro through a simple dual cable connection which means I still have the rest of the ports completely free and open which is just insane and once again this Thunderbolt 5 dock is the only way to make this happen so in this video I'm gonna go through all of the details like the exact port selection the features specs the PCI Express 5 SSD speed performance and I'll talk about its crazy copper cooling solution which keeps it cool and running at full performance and before I begin we We've actually been using the Fusion Dock Max 1 at the office for the past couple of years and it's been a game changer for being able to bring a MacBook Pro into the office, plugging it in and having an instant desk setup with full performance. And the genius thing about the new Fusion Dock Max 2 is that Ivanki split the dual cable into two separate cables that's fully compatible with the Mac Mini and Mac Studio since both of these Macs also support Thunderbolt 5 which is a nice touch. Now before I quickly compare the original dock to the new one, I want to talk about the new design. First off, the design is really unique and I love all of the changes they've made this year. With this really nice orange accent, which is my favorite color, so it fits perfectly in my man cave. And it's still built out of a single piece of aluminum, so it feels nice and premium just like the original one. As far as the ports go, on the front we have 11 ports on the Max 2 and 9 ports on the Max 1 dock. And the biggest change is that we no longer have two Thunderbolt display outputs on the Max 2. And I like this a lot more because having them stick out all the time for your displays doesn't look as nice as having a much cleaner interface on the front. We do get three more USB-A ports on the front, which is nice if you have some older devices that use legacy ports. On the back though, we have more changes like three more Thunderbolt 5 ports for your displays or even a Thunderbolt 5 SSD. We get two USB-C 10 gigabit ports compared to zero on the Max 1 dock, which is nice if you need to have something always plugged in. On top of that, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the Fusion Dock Max 2 now has a combo audio mic jack, which is an added bonus where you can have it hiding on the back instead of always plugged in at the front like on the original. Other than that, we have the same SPDIF optical port for high-end speakers, just like on the older Fusion Dock, which is nice. Now before I get into all the latest tech that's built into this Ivanki Fusion Dock Max 2, I want to mention that it's only compatible with Apple's M series chip Max and MacBooks. So it won't work with Windows PCs or even Intel based MacBooks. So keep that in mind. And I think because of that, this dock station works absolutely flawlessly and hasn't given me any trouble at all during testing, just like the original dock from Ivanki that still works great. So with all that said, the first thing I want to get into is how this Fusion Dock is so powerful and capable. It all starts with the new Thunderbolt 5 controller built in, allowing you to have three external displays with 120 gigabits transfer speeds, giving you the fastest screen response time as well as the absolute fastest SSD transfer speeds if you have a Thunderbolt 5 SSD of course. This is all inside the Fusion Dock, giving you the craziest speeds. And because because of how fast it is, it has a copper coil with fans built in to keep it nice and cool. And when I was transferring a large file and working off the SSD, it was only warm to the touch, 
thanks to the aluminum that dissipates the heat so well. So even under heavy use and load, it managed to be super quick without any slowdowns whatsoever. And fun fact, even if it's under full load, like having all of the ports used up, it still charges your MacBook at full 140 watts power without any issues. So if you get a cheaper dock station, you will run into those issues all the time, but not on this dock. It gets even better. I did a Blackmagic SSD speed test on our DIY Thunderbolt 5 SSD with four terabytes of storage that Vadim have a D made a video on, which you can watch after this. And I got 5,800 megabytes read and about 4,900 megabytes write which is just insane. So transferring files back and forth through the dock is so quick that you can start working much faster. In this example, I transferred a 38.9 gigabyte file onto my desktop and it finished in exactly 20 seconds. This is so fast that you no longer have to sit and wait for files to transfer. This is crazy impressive and I'm really happy that now we have a dock that has Thunderbolt 5 support. So this Ivanki Fusion Dock Max 2 is perfect for all content creators out there as well as IT specialists, music creators, and anyone that has a MacBook Pro that wants the ultimate triple display setup. I mean, the benefits are essentially endless and this dock just added a ton of useful ports that give me more flexibility than ever before. So if you want to check it out for yourself, it's a smoking deal for this Black Friday and I'll have all the links for you in the video description or the pinned comment below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button above, watch Vadim's DIY Thunderbolt 5 SSD video over there. I'm Ben and we'll see you in the next one.